Hi. Hi guys. I'm just hanging out here and um, we got drones flying overhead. Kyle's turning on his chesty. You're looking up my nose. And uh, we have a crocodile that needs to go back into her little pond. So let's bring her back the way she was. Just follow a perimeter then. In a perfect world, she'll walk right back in. Well, this unfortunately isn't a perfect world. Oh, look at that. God, she's beautiful. Oh, why don't we try and make her go that way? <laughs> I think that's the way she wants to go. Yeah, go on, go on. There you go. The only two things in my entire life that I've held on to with such vigor and passion since being a kid was my bicycle and my love of reptiles. Oh, Jesus, oh, she's coming back. Coming back. <laughs> there she goes. Come on, keep walking. We got another spot for you. Come on, mama. Yeah. All right. That was exciting. And you'd never know that in that pond, <laughs> there's a crocodile. Whew. I am the world's first Nerf bike rider. I lived at Woodward Camp for many years. I just was amazed that there is a place on Earth where you could become a pro bike rider, and then they're the world's most gifted gymnasts. I saw what those gymnasts were doing and I wanted to learn backflips on my bike and so I would learn gymnastics moves. And then said, well, why don't we get a ramp into the foam pit? Back in 96, this blew our minds. It was basically huck and hope. I learned double flips. Decades, 720s. I'm still in one piece and I, I had a darn good time and it afforded me the ability to, to move on to the next phase, which was always my true love, which was animals and protecting them. Look, I was an all right rider, but Dave Mira wasn't gonna let you win, you know? You know, going from BMX to conservation really isn't a leap as some people would think. I love adventure, BMX afforded me that, conservation affords you that. Conservation is an action sport because some of the things we have to do to do this work, it's pretty gnarly. Snakes, crocodiles, sharks. These are animals that most people do their best to avoid. But the reality is, is these animals deserve to be preserved and conserved. There are plenty of animals that need homes and are endangered. So I started building and creating really nice habitats for these animals to thrive in. A sponsor for bikes. One of the greatest days in my life was getting a free bike. Now, I always tease I'm sponsored for turtles. I don't buy animals anymore. Many of the animals that come to me are animals that kind of have nowhere else to go. But it's more than that in the way that we've picked species that we're trying to repatriate or trying to repopulate and hold as assurance colonies. Come on, guys. Look what I got. Here at my home, I focus on reptiles. Everyone always asks me, man, aren't those things boring? Well, hello, don't mind me. When you sit with them, you know, you feel like you're one of the tribe, like they've let you in. All right, we'll always stop for a little neck scratch, right, pal? Don't know what it is about turtles. Maybe it's the fact that they are so steadfast and zen-like, and I am a spastic ADD guy. Oh, oh, we have a Greek tortoise hatching. This is exciting. See, this is where I get all pumped. <laughs> but that's a little testudo gratia. Isn't that nice? Turtles and tortoises as a group of animals are the number one air-breathing vertebrate facing extinction. So again, I'm gonna leave him in there. We still have some more eggs that look pretty good in there. See, I get, I get nerdy, man. I get, I get turtly nerdy. You know, when you look at them, it's hard to see humanity. When we really, you know, get to know an animal that's a little hard to see the humanity in, you come away with so much more depth because of your courage to kind of look beyond the face value. I'm proud of where I came from. I'm proud of having been a BMX pro. I've met some lifelong friends, some people that are really important to me. But, you know, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't happier now. So sick. Woo. All right. 
It's Canon version 2.0. I love this thing. Lone Ranger had Tonto, Starsky had Hutch. I got my Jeep. <laughs>